Hey guys, we are back with the versus format. We already did a Faint Designer versus Adobe Illustrator versus Color Draw versus Inkscape, and today's episode is a bit unusual because it's more like a brother versus brother. So we got Affinity Designer versus Affinity Publisher. That was one of the comment under the previous episode, and I think that was really interesting idea. So that's why I did this one. So here we are, and like always, if this is your first time here, I will try to pick something good in one software, and then something that is better in another software, and then something that is kind of equal in both. I don't want to judge and give the final verdict at the end, I just want to show you some features so you can make your own educated decision. All right, let's get started. And here's my first artwork for today. It's about Affinity Designer. With version 2, we got a proper shape builder tool, something that doesn't exist in Affinity Publisher right now. So, if you are into making complex shapes, logos, symbols, that's your best choice because we can simply select your shapes, pick shape builder tool, decide you wanna unite or you wanna subtract elements. And you can create new shapes very quickly. So for shape building, Affinity Designer is your choice. But if you're more into doing multi-page documents, really long documents like 30, 40, 100, 200 pages, I will go with Affinity Publisher because there is master page feature. So you got this master page at the top, and then you can put elements on it. So if I, for example, put this headline like that and this rectangle of the color in my master page it will appear on every page in this document so i don't need to draw it again and again and set this up i can just follow my own template i create in the master page so for that i will pick affinity publisher but you must know one thing both documents can be created in both programs so the Affinity Designer supports multiple artboards. I think my record was something around 65 artboards. I do not recommend that. It was really slow and glitchy at the very end of that project. But I managed to do that in Affinity Designer. I got around 60 artboards and at the end I managed to export that into a PDF with 60 pages. All right. So I did that before. And Affinity Publisher. Here you can of course create multiple pages and export that as PDF as well. So it works a bit better with Publisher, but it's also possible in Design, especially with rather short publication, maybe just a six page rep report or something like that. You can easily do that using Artboard. As you can see now, I'm using Artboard in this very moment, just in my designer. I create nine Artboards for this video. So here I would say it's kind of even if you don't need master page, you can do a multi-page document in Designer as well. If you're stubborn enough. All right. Learning curve of Affinity Designer, it's a bit smoother experience. So if you're learning from very beginning, you can start from really simple tutorials, how to use a shape tool to build a snowman and stuff like that. And every day learn something new and scale up with your skills. It's way harder for publisher because publisher meant to multi-page documents. It's kind of assuming that you got some experience with graphic design and layouts and publishing. So it's not that user friendly. So if this is your very first program ever for like professional graphic design, if you're moving from like uh, casual software, like you use, I don't know, Microsoft Word, Canva, I will go with designer first to learn strong fundamentals and then if you need move to the publisher so learning curve is way better in designer there is super powerful feature in publisher that's kind of make, make this whole versus thing almost useless why because studio link in publisher can link you to all other tools in affinity designer and affinity photo but you need to own that software and install that software on the same machine. So you need to, if you want to use tools from designer, you can directly in publisher and that's great, but you need to have a publisher installed on your machine. Same with photo, all right? 
So this feature is called Studio Link, and I got questions about this very often. Where is the Studio Link in Affinity Designer? Where is the Studio Link in Photo? Because this is so useful that people just assume it should be all around. Right now, Studio Link is available only in Affinity Publisher. And as you can see, you can you got like three shortcuts here. By default, you are in the Publisher Persona. You click on Designer. All of your tools will change to designer tools within the program without closing the program. So that's really powerful. That's a great feature. So if you're kind of working with everything, you're working with photos, with vectors, with multi-page documents, you need all of them. You need Publisher, definitely. That's the best place to put everything together. Here we got uh, iPad. iPad apps now available for both. Previously, it was only available for designer. It was really powerful iPad app at that time. Adobe was way behind Affinity in that case. But right now we got both Affinity designer for iPad and also for the first time Affinity publisher for iPad. So if you're an iPad user, you can pick both. How about tutorials? How easy it is to find learning materials for the pro those programs? Here's a screenshot I took from Google Trends of YouTube search and the blue line is Affinity Designer. It's way higher than the red line for Affinity Publisher. So I can tell you myself, the designer tutorials are already a niche, all right? If you can get like 1000 views on new tutorial for designer, that's a lot. That's, and usually people that publishing stuff for Adobe Illustrator, they got like 10,000, 20,000 in the first 24 hours, all right? So it's already a niche in the graphic design. And inside that niche, we got another niche with Affinity Publisher. There are just few tutorials a month release and new tutorials. And I don't think there's uh, even a one single dedicated YouTube channel that making tutorials about Publisher right now. Uh, even in my case, you can see my playlist for designer got almost 150 tutorials and my playlist for Publisher got barely 30 tutorials. So it's not really something that you can easily find online. So it's way easier to learn about Affinity Designer. And by the way, if you got any wishes for this year, stuff that I should cover in Affinity Publisher, feel free to drop a comment below. Maybe I can make some more tutorials that the community needs. So just let me know. I try to balance this out this year a bit better. I try to make one designer, one photo, one publisher video, but it's really hard to keep that balance. So let me know what you want for publisher in the comments. Maybe I can make a new tutorial about that. All right, let's continue. Let's move to the next thing. Why choose publisher instead of designer? Because of data merging. So if you are a pro user, power user, you design a business card for the corporation, but there's like 100 people now that you need to design this business card for. And instead of doing this manually, you can set up variables for name, surname, position, email, and phone number. So we set up variables in the program. And then in the external document, we got some kind of spreadsheet with those names, phone numbers, and the program can match that data and create you like different versions of that, of that business card, of that certificate, diploma for multiple people based on your data source. So that's possible in Publisher. That's for power users. And it can really be a time saver. So if you are in something like that, you are the power user that use data sources in your design, that's for you. Don't pick designer, better pick publisher. And how about the price? The price is the same for both. $70 one-time payment, and you're getting free updates until version 2.0. Right now we are on version 2.3. There are usually four updates per year, so you still got plenty of time. All right, so you just pay $70, it's like price for the game right now for PlayStation 5. So that's, I think that's a good deal for a professional graphics software. And my recommendation is at the very end, I promise I did, will not pick the favorite one, but we cannot ignore this thing, the Studio Link. The Studio Link allows you to tap into any tool panel from different software. So what I would do, I would buy a designer first. And then if you really need to make multi-page documents, I will grab publisher. Because even though your publisher will be your main 
software you still can tap into designer tools so you got two in one all right so that's my suggestion it's hard to imagine that you only bought a affinity publisher without utilizing this studio link thing and without grabbing those tools from different software so that's my little recommendation here and here it is affinity designer versus affinity publisher designer is way more popular but the publisher is still here and getting updates so that's a good thing i hope this video was helpful it may help you to make your own decision while purchasing the software and using it accordingly to the strengths and weaknesses all right thank you for today and i will see you in the next video